See that? Nine o'clock and I'm awake. So while I normally like to sleep in, and I usually sleep in on the weekends, uh, today I'm up early-ish, I guess. Uh, nine o'clock is kind of early for me to be up uh, all ready to go. Uh, but uh, it is for a reason. I'm going to an herb and food festival at a uh, a local college here. It's a naturopathic college and it looks like a cool event and a cool place to be. So I think it's a good reason to get up a little bit earlier than I normally do. So this is home for the night. I'm in Kirkland, which is just northeast of Seattle itself. And this is just a little side street by one of my favorite stores in the area. So I've come up here to Bastyr University to do a little walk and discussion about uh, native plants uh, on this uh, little open house day that they have, uh, this little event that they have. So uh, not the best weather today, obviously, a little gray, but um, this is a really cool place. What I didn't know about Bastyr University is it's smack dab in the middle of a state park. So it's surrounded by uh, lots and lots of greenery. So this should be a fun little walk. So I told you I was heading up to take a little uh, nature walk and talk and I did that because my friend, an old friend of mine, is going to school here, and her name is Lauren. Hello. And I just wondered if you'd like to just tell us what you talked about, just kind of briefly. Yeah. Cause... So I'm a student here at Bastyr University, and I am in the Herbal Sciences program. I've been uh, in love with plant medicine for many years, and I decided to deepen my understanding of the medicine by coming here. And I talked to the importance of understanding our uh, plant species that inhabit this earth with us. I think there's a big responsibility we have to giving back to the wild that gives back, that gives to us um, so much and really recognizing the relationship we have as the starting place of that relationship. Recognizing the beauty and smelling the beauty and, and learning uh, how we can give back, how we can help uh, manage the certain invasive species that have come to take up the habitat of a lot of the other wild species that are native to this area. So how do we keep the diversity is the main goal here. How do we keep the health of our forests and that is through diversity and um, yeah it was a big talk. It was a whole hour so that's a short brief. Was it an hour? It didn't feel like an hour. Oh that's yeah. good. That was great and I, yeah thanks for inviting me because this was. Of course thanks for coming. It's we were uh, together in Southern California, the Mojave Desert. So it's fun, fun to be up in the <laughs> Pacific Northwest and see old friends. It is, yeah. Totally. Thanks, Lauren. Yeah, and thanks for all you do.
So to be perfectly honest, I wasn't sure I wanted to share this part of my day with all of you. Uh, this university, Bastyr University, is based on teaching people natural remedies and alternative medicine. And I know that that's looked down upon by a lot of people. Uh, but that is the type of thing that I am drawn to. Uh, from my experience, natural and alternative medicine has done much more for me than uh, a more traditional, uh, you know, quote unquote, traditional uh, medicine. Uh, whenever I've gone to a traditional doctor, I've always had really horribly bad um, uh, reactions. It's just not been, it's not gone well. But whenever I've been to a naturopath, uh, they've always helped me. So that's just my experience. And so that's, uh, that's why I'm kind of drawn to this kind of thing. So this was really fun just to be around a bunch of kind of open-minded people that are really just looking to uh, slow life down and look for a, a better, more comfortable way to live and a better way to feel. You may scoff, but this is a nice place to be for me. Of course, I couldn't resist buying a cup. It's good too. I don't know if I really made it clear that, uh, wow, that was just an incredible place to hang out for the morning. Just a really nice atmosphere. Uh, yeah, pleasant way to spend a morning. So I don't know this area very well. I probably should hang around out here and, and just kind of kind of look around. But boy, the, the weather has <laughs> the weather has gotten much better. Uh, the weather report says it's supposed to be mid 70s and partly sunny. It's already partly sunny and it's very close to being 70s uh, if it isn't already. In fact, I probably should take my take my sweater off. Uh, but um, yeah, I'm kind of feeling like I don't know what I should do. I want to do a little hiking. I also would like to take a nap. I also want more coffee. I don't need to say that though, do I normally? <laughs> I decided to let my stomach call the shots here. Maybe I'll decide where I want to go after I get some lunch. One of my favorite stores. I'll I got me fueled up. Now it's time to get the van fueled up. 3.53 a gallon. I guess that's not too terribly bad. So I've been looking for a camp chair and a tarp. And they're two things that I don't really need all that much. But every once in a while I wished I had one. Uh, so I've been looking for the, the right one. I just, I don't want to buy just anything. Um, just for space and usability and all. So uh, I figured I was close enough to Cabela's, which is just a little bit north of where I was. Uh, I was just in Bothell. This is just a little bit north of, uh, of where I was. So I thought I'd come up and see if I can find something. And if I don't, no big deal. But, you know, it's just a nice place to take a drive, I think. This is a really nice place to take a drive as far as I'm concerned because I don't think you can see it from here, but uh, just in that direction is the Cascade Mountains. Just beautiful driving up here. So not, not a bad trip either way as far as I'm concerned. Well, I didn't find anything. Kind of the same old stuff I see at every other place. So I just passed on buying anything. So yeah, it wasn't too far of a drive and uh, it's a pretty drive. Although uh, it's usually a little bit prettier 
if uh, if it's clear. So it is nice and sunny out, but um, it's a little hazy uh, down along the horizon. So not as pretty of a drive as it usually is, but still a nice drive. I'm not complaining. Well, I'm not doing a very good job at vlogging here today. Uh, quite a bit of time has passed since I've filmed anything. Uh, when I got out of Cabela's, uh, boy, I was tired. It just kind of hit me. So I took a little nap and had a little snack and watched some YouTube videos and basically did nothing. And it's uh, now almost 9 o'clock. I don't know where the afternoon has gone. Uh, not a bad thing entirely, but it, it did kind of strike me that... Uh, this is an unusual Saturday for me because most of my Saturdays I sleep in. I really sleep in. And that's mostly because my job has been pretty difficult lately. So I've been really tired at the end of the week. You know, by, by the time Saturday is here, I don't want to do much of anything. And so I usually sleep in and then I get rolling late. Uh, morning or even early afternoon and then I stay up late and uh, I think today's going to be the opposite. I got going fairly early and uh, had a very nice morning. Uh, I can't say enough about the whole campus at Bastyr University. Um, that's a place I hope to uh, get to go back to again. I'm going to keep my eye on uh, on their events and their, their little open houses and events that they have because uh, it's just a nice place to be. I'm a little too old to go back to college, so that's out of the question, if that's what you're thinking. Uh, anyway, uh, and obviously it was nice to get to see my friend Lauren. It's been a long time. I don't know how long, but it's been several years, I think, since I've seen her. And uh, she's doing well, so it's, it's nice uh, to kind of catch up with her a little bit. So learned a lot, had a nice time in the morning, and then uh, basically did nothing in the afternoon. So learned about vegetation in the morning and then I kind of vegetated in the afternoon. But uh, it's getting to be about time I think I need to make a little dinner and turn in. I don't know where that's gonna be. I need to find a place to park. I don't know my way around here. I uh, don't know much about this area, um, but uh, that's always an easy thing. I can park almost anywhere. So I should probably turn my attention to that and uh, turn my attention away from checking in with you guys here. So this will probably be it for the day. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.